A customer experience is a series of encounters that make you feel something. So today, I am going to pick apart two of the most common pieces of customer experience advice. I'll tell you what's wrong with them, why they don't work, and I'll give you three things you can do today to leave an impression and make your customers feel something. Let's do this. Some companies try to improve their customer experience by surprising and delighting their customers. You know, ooh, like that hotel chain that promises you a warm chocolate chip cookie when you check in. Now, there's only one problem with this. Every single time you check in, you expect the warm cookie. And when they don't give you the warm cookie, wah, wah, it's a bad experience. And you may even get a little steamed. So I'd go as far as to say that surprise and delight is one of the worst kinds of customer experiences you can offer. Other companies simply try to retrain and empower their employees with greater autonomy to make decisions faster and better. But this approach is completely overrated. Autonomy is the antithesis of a great customer experience. Autonomy breeds confusion. Let me show you what happens when you focus on empowering the individual. You see, a few weeks ago, uh, it was very hot here in Florida and our air conditioning went out. <laughs> Now we have a service agreement with our HVAC company and I gave them a call and a few hours later, a friendly guy named Ray arrived. He needed a part. Awesome! And here's where things started to go wrong. Ray never ordered the part. The parts department never talked to Ray. A few days later, the part did finally arrive and a guy named Jeff shows up to fix the air conditioner and install the part, except he doesn't have the part with him because Ray never entered any notes. So they have to go... So what was the end result? We had a very hot week. So we canceled our service agreement after the fiasco was done. Now, remember last week's episode where I told you about T-Mobile and their amazing ability to deliver 2.4 times the share price of their closest competitors? How do they build that team of experts and what do they do that makes their experience so great? Well, we're gonna break that down right now. There are three things you can do. The first one is you can expand the team. Now imagine if my HVAC company, instead of having a parts department and a service department and an accounting department and a, an appointment apartment, imagine if they made a customer centric team. That means one small team of just four people, one parts person, one person from the service team, one person that made appointments and one accounting person that serviced each individual client, a team of four completely dedicated to communicating about each client they serve. This is expanding the team. You need to scale camaraderie. Scaling camaraderie is about building mutual trust and respect between you and the customers and clients you serve. And expanding your team is the first way you can build your own team of experts. Now, the second way you can scale camaraderie is to expose the process. No, not that kind of exposing. Exposing the process means you're updating the customer about what you're doing when you're doing it. That's very simple. Now imagine if my HVAC company had embraced this simple idea, I shouldn't have to call them to find out if they ordered the part. They should tell me they've ordered the part and the part has arrived and the service tech is on its way. That is exposing the hidden process. And third, show instead of tell. Anytime you can use an image or a video to expand on the process and build a better connection between you and your clients or customers, you can make a big impact. Imagine, for example, if my HVAC company had actually taken a picture of the broken part and sent it to me. Or imagine if when they ordered the new part, they took a picture of it when it arrived. This builds trust and builds trust fast. Remember, when you're scaling camaraderie like T-Mobile, you're creating a better customer experience. Every interaction leaves an impression and a positive experience is what you're going for. You're creating happier customers and clients that have better loyalty and drive higher revenue. So instead of surprise and delight or autonomy and empowerment, maybe you should embrace scaling camaraderie. Think, uh, we could all build a team of four, expand on the team, expose the process, and actually show instead of tell. All right, I'm gonna go take a, a shower and 
turn back the air conditioning on because it works now.